stop helping hackers hack your account. Like, I'm really serious right now. You know, sometimes we might not actually know how we are contributing to that happening, but a lot of times we actually contribute to people hacking our social media accounts. But anyway, let's talk about that in this video. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Harris Kari, and on this channel we talk about anything personal finance and personal branding. If that sounds like something interesting to you, go ahead and smash the red subscribe button right there and join the family. Now, back to the video. Without a doubt, in this day and age, almost everything is moving online. Or let me just say, everything is moving online. We are in the internet. And that includes your profile, that is your identity, in fact, even your money, or maybe let's just say your brand. So speaking about brand, so just imagine someone else hijacks your entire profile, identity, money, and brand, and uses it to their own advantage. How would that feel? So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the five methods that these wicked people actually use to get your information and maybe try to hack your social media accounts to get access to all that. So in one way or another, this video would help you avoid falling in the hands of those wicked people. So now without wasting much time, let's get into the video. So the first method that these people use to lure you in is one that most of us have fall victim to and that is clicking suspicious links. You get shared some weird links from your friends and maybe even unknown people, maybe asking you to click on this link to get a giveaway. That's one of the ways they use to lure people in. With temptations of giveaways and stuff like that, maybe click this link and also share with like other 10 to 20 people to get access to this giveaway or maybe to stand a chance to win this giveaway and people get tempted with the amount of money or the price that is shown in that scam and people click on these links and sometimes instantly give access to them or maybe sometimes that link takes you to a certain form or maybe your social media homepage for you to log into your social media accounts maybe your Instagram or Facebook account so once you use your login details to log in on that homepage they get access to both your email or username and your password but sometimes some of them are smart they don't instantly just change your password they maybe log into your account and just keep on using the account together with you and notice the kind of people that you interact with so they can also be able to use those people and include them in their scam funny how these things start so without a doubt if you don't trust a link or you don't trust the person that sent you a link do not click on that link period and the next way you might be contributing is by sharing your password and this actually goes two ways so the first one is maybe you share your passwords with your friends maybe someone asks you for your password they want to log into your account and check something on their phones and you just send them the password but why would you do that it's a password for a reason or maybe you just feel like the people are just so dear to you so you can't just hide your password or maybe you can't do this do that at the end of the day what you might be doing is sharing the password with not just those people you might also be sharing with other people around them so if you share the password with them let's say you send them maybe in a chat or something like that and someone else also picks the phone and sees the password you just share the password with two people and that person can also decide to log into your account or maybe send it to someone else and that's three people and from there who knows we have a problem from a loved one or dear one to someone outside your small circle and uh, maybe to the rest of the world and that brings us to the second part of sharing your email so you might also be using the same email for your instagram account your facebook account your email or maybe every other social media account you own and as you can remember, you just gave your password to someone else, which someone else also got access from that someone else. And uh, your account is public. We got one! And now the next way you might be contributing, which is also linked to the second one, is logging in your accounts on other people's phones. Just as you shared your password with your friend and mistakenly shared with the entire world, if you log in your accounts on other people's phones and forget to log out, it's almost the same as you shared your password, even though they might not see your password, but they still have access to your account. And you know, that way they could also be able to do funny things on your account, or maybe their phones might get stolen and people might decide to use the access that they have to your account and you know, do a lot of things. Just imagine the whole chain. And number four, which I believe a lot of people love, is using third-party applications most of the times to boost our following 
or maybe our subscribe rate or stuff like that. So without a doubt, you might actually be guilty of this. We download third party applications that separate applications from the actual social media applications we use to help us manage our accounts. Sometimes it might be that we want to boost our following. So maybe if we download the application, we do some tasks and we get more followers or maybe, you know, we buy followers and stuff like that. So even though some applications might actually be legit for you to get these kind of followers, which is not even advisable, most of these applications actually gain access to your social media accounts without you even knowing. So you might end up giving your details to the wrong app. Maybe you might end up downloading the wrong app and uh, giving them everything they need. So I won't ask you not to download or use any third party application, but I would advise you to make sure you check the applications that you use. Make sure they are legit and make sure these applications are not going to make you regret. And finally, the last one, which I recently noticed that is trending is the votes for me message. Sure, you get it. If you don't get it, forget about it. So basically, you know, the reason why our accounts get hacked in the first place is for these people to be able to use our friends or our following to sell something or maybe to also hack their account so they could be able to sell something to other people. Or in other words, scam other people using our accounts. So for example, like me personally, I actually got almost 10 DMs from some of my friends that we actually interact with, chat with on Instagram. And uh, the funny thing is, they would never ask me to do such a thing that I was asked to do. Or maybe even if they would, they would actually explain something to me. But anyway, the funny thing is, they kept asking me the same exact question or the same as exact request from multiple accounts. So I was like, who the F is this? Like, you keep asking me the same question, or maybe requesting for the same thing from different accounts. What do you want me to do? Like, it's obvious that you are the same person or maybe multiple people using the same method trying to get my account as well. So the question they ask you is maybe they're running for a competition, maybe some kind of a contest that they want you to vote for them so that they could win. And what they want you to do is to click on those links and maybe give them access to your accounts and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure you take good care of your account. Make sure you be careful with the kind of links that you click. And also click on this video if you want to learn how to secure your accounts in order for you not to lose your access and stuff like that and also this playlist here to also learn more about that don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel see you in the next videos